Another game tomorrow night. Coming after another decent performance on Saturday against a good Chesterfield side. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did think it was a good performance. I thought that we um, set about them right from the start. Really, um, it was just a good reaction after um, going one 0 down um, because we were on the sideline. We we're a bit shell shocked, but on the pitch they were pretty composed. Got on with the game and uh, got the heads down and um, and worked hard. And for the entirety of the game, we were very proud of the 100% commitment and uh, the closing down the pressing in all areas of the pitch uh, getting the ball back quickly and and um, going forwards you know really strongly throughout the game so really pleased obviously you always want to keep a clean sheet but in a way do you get more out of that game on Saturday because you did go a goal down your team had to fight hard to get back into it well perhaps yeah when you bear in mind the week before 3-0 up and, and conceded three it was a good reaction especially conceding that early goal it was a good reaction then um, uh, and a positive one that got us the win. So you now got Halifax, third time you'll have played them this season in what, third time in a couple of months. Mm. You've had two decent results against them, both at the Shea. We have, we've, we've performed well in both games and we'll be looking to do that again, another Yorkshire derby um, and it should be a big crowd as well so every incentive to, to go and get a third win. Is it a bit weird playing the same side three times in such a short space of time? Slightly, but you, you tend to get one team every season, don't you, where you keep coming up against them. And, and, and this season it's Halifax, but uh, they've still got a very good lineup. Um, they've had uh, a good season so far, uh, but it's tied to the top. And like I say, there's, there's every reason to be really up for tomorrow's game. And your players must be really confident going up against Halifax because of the results you've already had against them. Well, yeah, but um, just going to make sure there's no overconfidence because we know where they are in the league. It's by no accident as well. If you allow them to play, um, they're a technical team and and they play the game in the right way. A good passing uh, team that uh, have threats all over the park. But we've got to make sure that we nullify those threats by working hard, um, staying compact, and then springing forward with with the pace we've got. I'm sure you've got poor records against certain teams. Will the players, even in the back of their minds, however they try and put it away, the Halifax players be thinking, "Oh no, these lot have already beaten us twice this season." Well, I don't know from their point of view what they'll be thinking at all, but um, other than probably trying to stick one over us tomorrow night and uh, their fans will be right up for it because they won't have enjoyed two losses against us. Um, but that, that's gone. You know, from our perspective, we've just got to attack it with as much, um, you know, hunger and, and proper attitude and get our minds on the job and make sure, you know, we do everything possible to, to come out as um, the victorious team tomorrow. I know they've not been in the greatest form so far. Uh, it's what, sort of like this last month or so. They've lost quite a few games, drawn a few games. But they're still right up there, aren't they? You've got to remember that. Well, that, that's the nature of the, the league, isn't it? You know, it's um, no one's really grabbed it yet and, and got, got on a momentous uh, run. Um, you know, we were languishing. We've had a good run. Um, we had the setback at Eastleigh, but hopefully we've put that behind us now and we can go on another good run. Because if you can be really consistent with it, um, the, the league and the, the top three, uh, all those spots are, are really available to the, that brave team that can come through the pack. Yeah, it's crying out for someone to just grab hold of this league, isn't it? It seems to be a different team at the top every other week. It, yeah, it, it is. It is, but it's easier said than done, isn't it? Because there's some fine teams out there, well organised, and and um, you know the, the threats in every team. You know, so that's why we go through the videos and make sure that um, we don't just sit back and and think we made it. You know, because the nature of the league being as it is, you know, as soon as you think, oh, you've cracked it, you can come unstuck and concede goals. And uh, and I think that's throughout all the leagues in England, it seems this season, that um, uh, there's, uh, there's weapons in every every team uh, that enable funny results, um, and especially in our league. So we've got to make sure that the mindset's really positive and, and up for it. Any idea why that is this year? That there doesn't seem to be one standout team. It's bizarre, really, because all the past years, the last three or four especially, there's always been at least one team that you've thought at the beginning of the season they're going to be the team to beat. I, I, I am to clue, really. <laughs> um, like I say, there's there's different strengths in every every team. So you look at Solihull first game, and we thought they'll take some some stopping, and and then they had a very indifferent mm -hmm. run of form, but then they suddenly spring back to life and and they're right up there again. Um, Halifax started so strongly. And I, I guess there's more and more scouting. I guess there's more and more analysis of, of teams. And so just when you think your team's on a good run, um, people are more and more aware of you and then attack you in a different, uh, a different light and, 
and with a different uh, form of tactics and that's what we try and do and other teams we have to be aware of other teams looking at that as well and we're going to make sure that we keep sharpening up keep getting better as a team so we just execute the our game plan better and better how's your team looking any injuries you picked up at the weekend no everyone everyone's fine so you know we're picking from a good strong squad that the lads who came off the bench and made a good impression as well so um no, looking good in terms of strength and depth, and hopefully that, that can continue. How hard is it keeping those players that are on the fringes of the team happy all the time? Because you don't tend to make many changes, do you? You've been pretty lucky, I suppose, with injuries as well. It's, it's not an easy task at all, and you can't be all things to all men. Um, just try and be honest um, and upfront and talk face to face and say that this is the reason why uh, you're not starting um, in tomorrow's game or the next game. And, and this is what we want to work on and, and, and to improve, but hopefully I leave the carrot there for someone so they don't think there's no one in our group that isn't good enough. Uh, you know, it's, it's about form, it's about looking after people. And uh, Some players have played 22 games for us, plus 10 in pre-season, about eight, nine. You know, you're talking about 30 games by mid-November. So sometimes you have to take someone out to go again, um, to recharge them, uh, but with others, some handle it worse than others, you know, and you're acutely aware of that. Of course, you want more people again to come through the turnstiles. We know it's hard, two home games within four days, but if there's ever going to be a game to try and entice people down, a league game, a big local derby, that should be the one tomorrow night. Yeah, I mean, we're probably, being honest, we were probably open for about 2,000 there the other day, and there were 1,700 there and 500 from the away fans. All we can do is, is try and perform with passion in terms of the football side of it um, uh, and try and knock a few goals in and do our utmost to bring people in. Um, off the pitch, I think, uh, you know, there's a good article in, in the advertiser the other day about uh, prices and, and getting more and more youngsters in and, you know, that aligned with the community projects as well, that it's, it's ongoing. We just, um, we've got to be relentless with it because we want it to work. Brilliant. Cheers.